Agate Stadium, San Luis Obispo, Cal Poly and UCLA, game two of a doubleheader. Bruins get to work early, top of the first. Tyler Ramatula in scoring position after a leadoff double. Dean Espy standing in against Mustang left-hander Kyle Anderson. Espy lifts one over the second baseman into right field. Ramatula scores, and after a bases-loaded walk, UCLA took a 2-0 lead. Bottom of the first now, Cal Poly with a runner on first. UCLA flamethrower Trevor Bauer burns a fastball past DJ Gentile to end the inning. Top of the second, the Bruins get another rally going, now leading 4-0. Trevor Brown knocks the ball into left field off relief pitcher Joey Wagman. Brian Carroll crosses the dish to make it 5-0. Same inning, Tyler Heineman steps in and smacks a base hit to left. Chris Giovanazzo scores from second. Four more runs in the second inning. UCLA led 6 to nothing. Bottom of the fourth. Not much to cheer about for the Mustangs until David Armendariz connects on a 3-2 pitch, sending a soft line drive into right field. The ball gets past Brian Carroll. Armendariz slides into second with a two-out double. But Trevor Bauer would slam the door shut as Matt Russell strikes out looking to end the fourth. Top of the fifth, more Bruin offense. Tyler Ramatula with another base knock to left. Tyler Heineman digs around third and scores to make it seven to nothing UCLA. And Trevor Bauer kept dealing. He rings up Michael Hu with a nasty breaking ball. Bauer gives up only two hits in seven innings of work and strikes out 12. The Bruins take game two, eight to nothing, and after a rainy weekend, Cal Poly and UCLA split their doubleheader. It's really not about me, it's about the team getting a win, and we've been we've been kind of struggling a little bit lately as a team. Um, so it was, it was good to get out there and turn in a good performance and help help the guys win. Uh, it's, it's, you know, we take all the wins we can get at this point.